Okay, but now I'm gonna fly back to the tower, and then we can just start this whole process over again. I think that makes sense. Because otherwise, I'm, I'm, not about, I'm not just gonna fly all the way back there. That's a waste of my resources. Man, that's pretty. I wonder how many episodes I've actually started out by launching off of this tower. It's gotta be like three at this point, which isn't a lot, but isn't it funny that it's happened three times? What is going on there? What dragon is that? Huh. It seems awfully close as well. It's a weird looking dragon. It's like, huh. I don't know what's going on with that. It's so nice that we have the Korok mask now and I can, <sighs> it's, it's just a load off. I don't have to worry about, about all the backtracking I'm gonna have to do. Uh, do we fly, we fly to that one, I think. As I'm about to die of the cold. Uh, do I have food for that? Yeah, I, I made food. The only downside is that now I have to wear the Korok mask, which is gonna lead to a little bit more pausing because I'm gonna have to pull up. I'm gonna have to eat more. Uh, okay, we already dropped that. I think it's just important that we drop those to the surface. I don't know at what point we're going to be able to decipher those. Maybe I should be marking them on my map. I'm not sure. Uh, there are some constructs here. We're gonna take a little bit of fire. Thankfully, they die in one hit. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall! No! Wait, 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 wait. Get back here. Get back here. I'm not gonna let some garbage, like, physics get in my way. Okay. I got that. Uh, and I guess my cu I'm curious whether or not the Korok mask has any, any changes in this game. Like, if there is a Korok down there, will it pick it up in the radius? I don't know. They might have nerfed it. Or they might, they might have buffed it. Or maybe it gives a direction. I don't know. It hasn't gone off yet. Uh, is there any purpose to this island? Other than being a literal stepping stone? I would have thought there would have been something here, but I guess not. The cool thing is that I can fly relatively perfectly horizontally. In fact, I might use those rockets to go straight up. That might be why they're there. I'm gonna get so much more distance if I go straight up. Yeah, let's let's do that. That that's probably why they're here. Okay, switch, boom. I'm sorry. What? What? Why? Is it because they're not on the side? There we go. That was weird. Normally that works. What on earth is that? Are we still moving? We're still moving! Does it just continue? Slowing down. Okay, we're stopped. Doesn't fall, does it? Eh, kinda. Where are we going next? Th these are all... in a circle around this orb. Um, that's weird. That looks like we're supposed to dive through it. Almost like the... Almost like the maze. And ultimately, they're... they're those platforms are just floating everywhere. And ultimately, uh, my goal is to drop down into Rito. I think it's kind of cool that we're going to just drop into the, uh, the sky-focused area from the sky. Because... Everybody's been telling me to go there. Like, people in, like, outside of the channel, commenters, everybody wants me to go to Rito. It, apparently, we're also going to find out what the, uh, what those runes are for, what they do, which is great because there's one there and then one on the, on the other side. You can barely make it out on the south side of the highlands. Okay, so you guys are doing this malarkey. Uh, do I have... I don't have a Construct Bow anymore, but I probably don't need it. I think I'm good enough at landing my shots. Okay, correction, I'm not good enough at landing my shots. Get ready, get ready, get ready. 
die. And then we're just gonna chain this together, I guess. I'm gonna try to chain these. I don't know if that's gonna work or not. Because if I if I have momentum, upward momentum, yeah, then it makes sense, and I should be able to get more height by doing it this way. And I definitely, definitely am. Okay. Yeah, that's that's the way to do it. Let's drop this stupid bow. Grab this concert bow. Okay, and I didn't need whatever was down there. I'm so high! Oh my word! Look how high I got from that! Yeah, that's the way to do it. Oh. Uh, we fly to that one? Check our map. Yeah, we can... I think we can make that. If not, we can go grab one of those platforms. They're so high! How do we get that high? Power momentum. Where did the, where'd the ball go? Oh, I can land on it, maybe. I'm gonna land on it. Why not? If anything, I kind of need to. Nothing there, it looks like. Although there's some lower platforms that look suspicious. There could be Koroks anywhere. What is this thing? Unfortunately, it's big enough that me landing on it, I'm not going to be able to jump off it easily, I th think. But I, I can make it work. As the comments have said, the world's pretty much my oyster at this point. What do you want to bet this is an enemy? I mean, this does kind of look like, uh, an enemy from Okami. I'm not going to say which enemy. It also looks like something from a certain... Is this a Death Star? A certain Xenoblade game. What is this thing? We can go inside it? Whoa! Starview Island. I was expecting to dance around this thing and then go inside, but... No, it's just open air. And it's... a puzzle. What's at the bottom? I think that's important, because we can just fly up at any time. Hey, there's nothing... There's nothing important at the bottom. And it looks like... Does this rotate everything or just it rotates everything? Whoa, 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 go back, go back. Okay, that does something here. And we have these islands to constantly... Honestly, boost us back up. Oh, so the goal... Okay, the goal is to shine light straight down onto this. Which then gets us a chest. And we can... Ooh, I'm gonna get that in a second. Uh, I could probably... I could probably cheese this with, uh... Come on, Link. Good job. I could probably cheese this with the, r the mirrors in the right places, but I'm gonna do what they intend for me to do. I think... This thing's tilted, so what is this actually trying to aim at? I'm not sure. Okay, there are mirrors on all sides. Let's... Let's investigate the Gachapon first. Uh, what does this need? This needs cr the, uh... Charges? Yeah, it needs the charges. Spikes... Like, next... Oh, there there it is. <laughs> why, why are those so slow? Stakes, stabilizers, stakes, shock emitters, sled, stakes. Okay, that's not amazing. I guess I'll do it once more. I think the stabilizers are really the big winners here because I don't have that many of them. But that's not that's not amazing. Now how do we I guess this is an important thing. Yeah, that is a mirror. If I can get up there, it looks like it's under direct light, so I can probably... Probably, come on. 
probably aim this downward. I can aim it at, what is, what can it aim at? The center? No, it can aim at that, okay. And where's that light coming from? And how do I turn that? This is very complex. Okay, so I can aim this over at that island. That's a start. And that one's set in stone. So by doing that, I can aim this one over to that island and aim it to the center, I think? So this isn't terribly difficult then. Aim it a little bit. Come on. Alright, that's good. Get a nice running jump here with my low grav. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be terribly difficult. I don't know what that does, but, I mean, we're about to find out. Almost through my scimitar of the seven. Okay, so we got that, and then we aim it at that switch. Again, I could have, I could have definitely, wait. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, that's what I'm doing wrong. Okay, okay, okay. I got it. So I just need to aim this one. Yeah, aim the other one over there. Oops. There we go. It's cool. It's cool. We can kind of measure the speed of light in uh, in Tears of the Kingdom, or like, I guess the sp the speed of the mirrors. Is this what's happening? Oh, it's that. Oh, it's a shrine. Okay. That's that's cool. Nice. We get any dialogue here? No. Yeah, it's kind of neat because I can aim this away. And then as soon as I aim it in, let me see if I can look up and we can see it kind of dance everywhere. Yeah, that's cool. That's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, so to get up there, I just need to catch this ride. And it's not a problem. But does this shrine open the reward and what what's going on here just a, a little dead construct that's sad you know I don't know if I've talked about it in this let's play but in the trailer for Breath of the Wild or for Tears of the Kingdom there were time shift stones from Skyward Sword and I almost think that the broken constructs are uh, a leftover star fragment staff. What? What does that do? I almost wonder if they're leftovers from uh, that point in development where you would have been able to activate the time shift stones and reawaken the constructs. Or maybe that has yet to come. What? Oh. Okay, this is introducing a couple of a couple of mechanics to us. First off, staves, staves, uh, staves, but then also as an upgrade to the rods. But then also the fact that we can put star fragments on the ends and use them to create light. I don't know. We have star and staff. That's all I care about. Now, that's not the entirety of this puzzle. There are two rewards. So how do we get the second reward? We need to aim the light. Oh, the puzzle reset. Of course it did. Here's my, here's my question, though. Like, I can jump, I can aim it right next to that roof and then walk over to the roof and get a mirror. I can do that. That's not hard. But is there a way to solve this properly is, is really my conundrum. Because it's super easy to cheese, but cheesing it, unless that is the entire impetus of design, isn't as satisfying to me. So does this line up? Yeah, it does. It does. Okay. Okay. Well, it's good to know. And it really wouldn't have been any, any more, uh, any less difficult if I had cheesed it. Okay. 
What's in this chest? Sage's blessing? A fourth one? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Or Sage's will, yes. Oh, three. Okay, so one more. One more Sage's will and we find out what that does. Cool. Uh, so now we have possibly, quite possibly the worst warp point in the game. That shrine, because we have to climb out of this this garbage, but we can use it. Fly up. Can we fly out of this thing with uh, with these updrafts? Yes, we can. If, can I climb this? Yes, easily. Okay. Also, I don't know what I was saying with the diameter of this thing uh, not allowing me to jump off of it. Because I'm in low grav, I can just easily, easily get get flight whenever I want. If any of these islands are something, that one is. So, north. Mm, it's that one. It's that one. I don't know if I can fly to that, but I, I'm going to give it a shot. And there's also... That down there. It's probably not a Gleok, but it kind of... Oh, there's a boss. A boss arena there. Yeah, there... Okay, the north is definitely something. And it'll be the last thing we do until we start going to Rito, uh, Rito Village. From the sky. Is that a crater? Oh, there's something up there. It's probably not... Yeah, it's probably nothing. Oh, but oh, there's something there. Oh, no, there's something there. How do I get up there? <sighs> I guess we'll go here. We'll go here, but there's definitely something up there. Oh, there's also that thing. I forgot about that thing. Uh, and there's stuff down below. Let me pull up my map. Oh, I went past it. Oh, that's not good. Um, I think I go back, actually. I don't think there would be a shrine, but there might be a shrine. Oh, so that spiral goes very high. I almost wonder if we're expected to climb that. It goes all the way down to the surface. So I think what we'll do is we'll go there. That's the Great Sky Island, right? Yeah, that's the Great Sky Island. Okay. I was going to say, I'm like, that looks like Skyloft, and I think it is. So I, I'm going to choose to believe that it is. Yeah, well, so we'll go here. We'll go there. We'll go all on those, and then we will go back to that thing. I think we're... There are two of them, too. That's the weird part. Okay, there's a Korok. I might actually get this one on screen, believe it or not. Wow, the mask is so much more subtle now. I actually... <laughs> that's gonna be kind of annoying. Especially with me talking. Okay, so we got our Korok. Is that the entire... Impetus of this island. Some ruins. And a, a chest and a, a dead man. What is in the chest? Something good? An old map. Okay. Where's it go? Oh, that okay, cool. I I'm glad that I asked the question and then had the question answered. If we've already found the treasure then the, the map does nothing, which makes sense. It makes a lot of sense. I'm guessing, actually, I'm not even sure what that would be too, but we got it, we got it, and that's the important part. Okay, so we have these, uh, which don't have rockets on them, and I don't think I have rockets myself. I do not have rockets. So, I guess we'll just grab this charge and then dip? I'm guessing that cloud barrier is the end of the game. And I just left anti-grav. Problematic. That looks very, um... End of the game E. Because if Zelda's trapped somewhere, and we're back in anti-grav... That would make sense as to where she'd be. Did you know that Tears of the Kingdom directly ripped off Super Mario Bros. U? It's insane! Yeah, we're definitely going to that one first. That's cool looking. What is that? What's that all about? 
There's gonna be a construct down there. Probably a shrine there. I can see a gachapon machine. Uh... A hole there, which I don't know what that does. I'm about to run out of stamina. I'm really worried about that. Although maybe that- maybe this isn't the end of the game. Like this area. Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't have any stamina foods left. I don't have any stamina foods left. I'm gonna have to aim for a ledge. Holding forward. Come on, holding forward. Uh... What is that? I don't know what that is, but I think I can make it. This is my only shot with no stamina. I got it. That was... Oh, that was that was clutch. That was super clutch.